New Zealand's victory over France brought to an end a remarkable journey for all those who were a part of the tournament teams and fans alike. It also brought an end to another extraordinary voyage, one that had begun in May of last year. The trip has entailed 28,000 kilometres of cycling, um, unassisted from Twickenham Stadium to Eden Park, um, 28 countries, um, and it's taken us 17 months. Our aim was to raise awareness um, of grassroots rugby, but also to discover it for ourselves. Um, I mean, we have to admit we left pretty blind when we left uh, from Twickenham Stadium. We hoped that we'd find the world of rugby out there. Um, and we did. We thought if we could raise the profile of some of these countries, they might not ever be competing on the international stage at the Rugby World Cup, but they do have platforms there. And the important thing with rugby is that it's, um, it's a culture. You know, it, it creates opportunities for children, it creates mm -hmm. opportunities for, for many people in life. It, it opened doors for myself and, and it's it opened the doors for us to travel the world. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we want to sort of really be advocates of, of the game and to encourage it wherever we can. And Tom and Jody were able to do just that in some of the most unlikely of locations. I'd say there's definitely been a couple of surprises, although as we went, you probably get less surprised because you, you start to, you know that it's going to be everywhere and that was really fantastic to find. But for me, um, the, the women rugby in Iran and how strong and sort of really developed that was. For, for me, Pakistan, uh, just the, the sheer numbers of, of people interested in the sport. And they've already got pools of over the thousands of players registered. Mm. Um, they're, they're struggling for obviously funds and, and Pakistan's gone through a lot of natural disasters recently, mm. but the, the rugby communities there are strong. Perhaps nowhere is there a stronger rugby community than in New Zealand, but what Tom and Jody found wherever their travels took them is the spirit of rugby. It's truly international. I mean, we, we've cycled through 28 countries, we could have cycled through 58 countries, there would have been rugby presence in all of those countries. I think commonly, um, across many cultures and even religions now, people are really recognising the, you know, the integrity and the mm. principles mm. that are, are necessary in the game. I mean, rugby offers opportunities to people that I believe no other sport does. <clears throat> um, so... And it unites the world. I mean, we got passed along from country to country by people who knew people in those other countries through the rugby. And I mean, that's, that's sort of dictated a lot of our route. Um, and, so, and it really proved to us that, yeah, rugby is it's truly global.